heat of battle, he don't miss. No. In the heat of controversy, he don't miss. See, I'm not a monster. I'm just ahead of the curve. In the meantime, and as usual, go fuck yourself. All right, Pimp Stud Muffin Gaming Athlete here, and uh, it's nice, it's nice to see someone else besides yours truly, the number one elite gaming stud muffin athlete, Call of Duty, Balls Deep Only Halfway, and Alpha Male on YouTube, doing something and actually calling out and recognizing the bullshit of people like Blame Truth, finally, and the nonsense rage baiting Call of Duty videos that these people are making. And I understand, listen, hating on Call of Duty, skill based match matchmaking, Activision is one thing. Gaslighting and completely just making up nonsense videos, looking for any little small thing which is irrelevant, you, things you don't even know what you're talking about, rage bait videos on things that haven't happened yet, and unfortunately it's just dumbifying, stupefying, and just making the Call of Duty community uh, just on a whole a whole lot worse. And I've been calling this shit out for a while, you guys have seen my videos uh, calling out rage baiters like Fooly as well, which is funny because Rick is friends with the Fooly, and this is what I'm talking about Rick here. Rick actually made a video, rage baiting content creators a joke, fake hate, and call of duty don't get it twisted dumb kids out there who uh, have iqs of 50 on a good day hating call of duty and hating things that are actually valid is one thing rage baiting and simply just looking for any little thing to hate in call of duty uh, is a different thing and just gaslighting people and actually just it actually takes away from constructive criticism of the game and just makes everything a fucking joke and just makes it a fiasco and just stupid. But yeah, the Rick here, probably the only dude who makes Call of Duty content. I mean, listen, I like the old, yes, the old, the old, the old cinema. I like the old cinema. I like the Rick. And that's about it, really. I mean, I don't know. Uh, J God's fine. Those, that dude's not a bad dude, I guess. Exclusive Ace is uh, pretty okay when it comes to Call of Duty. But, you know, the Rick and uh, Exclusive and uh, Ex Nero, Nero, Nero Cinema are probably the two guys that I would say. Phase Jeff, too, but I don't know if he's a Call of Duty content creator anymore. The guy makes more videos about our stuff than Call of Duty. So big ups to him. Glad he's got the audience that will go with him. Personally, myself, I try to make other videos besides Call of Duty and I get screwed by my subscribers. On top of that, too, I changed my name uh, and 90% of my subscribers don't even realize that. So what's to say about the people that watch my videos? Those of you who are watching it right now, obviously you got a brain, you know what's going on. Notifications are turned off. Hit that like button, you subscribe. But those of you who couldn't figure out who I am and now my videos are getting tanked, uh, go fuck yourself, you dumb morons. Probably blame truth subscriber. Nonetheless, I digress. A little bit of a long-winded intro there. But it's nice to see the Rick calling out people like Blame Truth. And what he's talking about is this nonsense video here, plus the many others that this guy makes. It's amazing, right? I mean, like, listen, listen, you're never gonna go broke underestimating the stupidity of the general public, and Blame Truth is riding this all the way to the bank. Literally all they're doing is not something negative comes out, then they respond to it, or something happens and they have an experience with something, and then they respond to it. They look for anything to happen with any little news. And then what they do is they try to twist it, manipulate it in any way they possibly can to try to find the negative angle on it. For example, and what Rick was talking about here, and what you know what I've been talking about forever, COD YouTubers like Blame Truth and Fooly are trash, which is cool. I want Rick to call uh, Fooly as well, because Fooly is the exact same content creator as Blame Truth, but Fooly and Rick are friends. So I hope Rick here doesn't uh, doesn't uh, become a hypocrite because you need to call it your boy here because his is the same thing. Every single video is the same. School based matchmaking has killed online gaming. I mean, how many times have you heard that? Modern War 3 is a top five call of the all time. It's a joke. This is awful. Black Ops 6 is a complete mess. It was a beta. How do you even know? More awful news for Black Ops 6. No, it wasn't. F, F Activision. Yep, I hate Black Ops 6. Okay, great. Modern War 3 Season 6 sucks. Activision sucks. Complete trash. Complete, like, this guy is a mass of rage baiter as well. Like, Rick is probably the only guy, like I said, that's why I like Rick. Rick is the only guy here who actually is a sincere Call of Duty content creator. Even myself, I'm full of shit. Let me put that clear right now. What, how long we watch this before this is about four minutes in? Let it be clear right now that I am the kettle calling the kettle black, where that means I am full of shit on times too. I've like said something's good, then something's bad, just messing around, flip-flopping around, which honestly has hurt my channel because, you know, I was just doing it to try to troll people. Like, I hate Call of Duty, I love Call of Duty, you know? But uh, that's backfiring a bit. Fair enough, you guys, I deserve to get my ass kicked for that. I should actually just be more sincere. Speaking of sincere, the Rick is someone who is actually sincere with his content. People like this, not sincere. You can't be saying all this and making all these stupid hate videos and then like playing the game on a constant basis and being like a super sweat. Like this dude hates skill-based matchmaking, but if you watch people like Fooly play, the dude's a super sweat. Like, you know, this dude kicks ass. Fooly is a hardcore gamer. 
jumping around with a scuff gaming controller sweating. But anyways, I digress. Not really. Rick, call it your boy Fooly because he's a rage baiting uh, Call of Duty content creator as well. But Blame Truth has been doing this for a long time. I've been calling for a long time. Look how fat he used to be back in the day. Guy was a massive dork. He's got mental health problems. He's obviously crazy. Like literally, I'm crazy, but this dude literally is you know, suffering from problems. He's got short man syndrome as well. That's what happens when you're little. You have to compensate somehow in some way. He is making nonsense videos. And I'm just proud that someone else besides me has a brain out here. That's really what this video is about. I'm pumping up the Rick. I'm happy for the Rick and there's someone else out here. I had a good feeling about the guy. I've been trying to say I like this guy. I've been trying to say I think his content's good. I think he's actually kind of a sincere person. Of course, of course, of course. When it comes to Call of Duty content and YouTube content, people exaggerate things for I guess, effect to get people to click. You know, it's it's entertainment. You have to make things catchy. You have to do things to catch people's attention. And I understand that. But people like Blame Truth are full of shit on a level that's never been seen before. How do you talk trash about maps that you don't know anything about because you haven't played them? And he's complaining about maps are too small or whatnot. No one likes big maps. That was the biggest complaint. Sledgehammer Games made those crazy huge maps before in the past. And it was like the one that was sort of out on the, I don't know, like just castle and stuff. Can't remember. It was like a super meme for a long time for uh, for ghosts. Maybe you don't even play ghosts. Maybe you're too young for that. But long story short, big maps back in the day and presently are not liked by the Call of Duty community. It's boring. People want more fast paced. They want action. They don't want to be running around looking for, you know, sight lines for 20 minutes in a 10 minute match game, which makes no sense. Just like these content creators like Blame Truth and Food. Fooly, keep it real, and Fooly. Fooly is in the same boat as Blame Truth. And it's just garbage. Just rage baiting, four views, no sincerity at all. Which is, you know, listen, listen, if that's your bag, I want to say this too. Listen, these videos are free, all right? And you're not taking in front of anything from anybody except their time. So in that fact, it's like a victimless crime in a sense. Except at the same time, people need to be called out on it because it lowers the actual Call of Duty community in itself and makes the content creators, I don't know, not content creators, but the audience for that matter of fact, dumber. Because honestly, here's the thing, okay. Someone like myself or Blame Truth or Fooly or whoever, right? Fans stick to their people that they like. So like I could be the most righteous person in the world, but someone like Blame Truth can make a hit video on me and his fans will just be like, Duh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or Rick could be a righteous guy, and blame truth, or Fooly could even make a video content about him. Like, Fooly made a hit video on me right down here, was, uh, right there, right? And most people agreed with it. You know what I'm saying? And it was all just nonsense. It literally, a guy insults your family members and insults yourself and the way you look. And the guy hides behind the screen, never showed his face. He lives at home with his mom. It, not, not the point. Like, I don't care. Get that straight. Not, my feelings aren't hurt. Like, I don't give a damn. It is what it is. And blame truth, same thing you know what i mean like his fans are going to side with him and rick's fans are going to side with him and my fans are going to side with me and that's the problem is that no one has any critically thinking skills and they get stuck belonging like if i'm wrong call me out if he's wrong call him out just try not to get stuck by sucking off people that you watch try to like actually hold them accountable and no one's holding anyone accountable but it's nice to someone like the rick and myself at least the only guys in the whole damn youtube call of duty content creators have actually been calling out this clown like obviously blame truth has become a clown i'm calling out, i don't care if it's an act i don't care if it's like a oh it's just a you know it's a it's a heel turn it's a nwo it's a wwe wf whatever i don't watch wrestling wrestling's for dork sorry if you like it and you're above 20 years old you're a fuck nerd just saying wrestling's gay it used to be kind of cool with the rock and all that kind of stuff but nowadays pfft, horrible anyways grow up you dumb dork jorks you should be making call of duty videos when you're 40 years old complaining about it that's mature see i'm self-aware i understand listen i i know who i am okay i'm a fucking idiot too but we need to be holding people accountable and uh i lost my train of thought there thinking about how bad wrestling was um, but yeah, it's a heel turn, guys. It's a heel turn. I'm, I'm Ghost of Eight here. It's a lot. No, I, I, this is actually how I am. Like, I'm not going to make excuses for my behavior. This is me. Like, what you see is what you get. But people like Blame Truth and these people try to pretend like it's a character, which is, you know, trash. It's an excuse. It's a cop out. It's a total cop out. 100%. So, um, yeah. Glad that the Rick is out here. Someone else in the YouTube Call of Duty community that I actually, uh, out of, and it's been a long time because most people who make content are just dorks. Um, I like Neuro Cinema. He's pretty cool. Um, well, cool, but you know what I mean. But yeah, don't be a hypocrite, Rick. Call out your friend Fooly, because this shit's horrible, too. Ghost of Eight, number one Call of Duty Stub Muffin Elite Gaming Athlete. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I know you enjoyed it. Hit the like button, subscribe, and all that stuff. Otherwise, you're a loser if you watch it this far and you haven't done that yet. Stay black. Question authority. Don't let the hunt crack with clean shapes. You're just building moves, harness fingers, and then judge crush them. The behemoth gorge, algebra, the flat, meaningless, fake, algebra, the behemoth, fortune, the frogs, gay, white man. Bring it down.